welcome to Good Morning Sri Lanka. You're here with me, Amaya, and it's a Wednesday morning, the middle of the week, but it is still a brand new day and a brand new start. So I hope that you're up and fresh for the day as well. And here on uh, Good Morning Sri Lanka, we always try to bring you the best of the events that are happening around the country. And if you are, particularly if you're a, a, a viewer who's the part of the industrial sector, uh, then this uh, particular exhibition that we're going to speak about next is something that's very familiar to you. This is the 12th consecutive year that this exhibition is being held. It's organized by the Institution of Incorporated Engineers of Sri Lanka and it is INCO 2014. And here to give us more information about this particular event, we have two gentlemen with us on the show. Mr. Jagat Arawavala, he is a past vice president of uh, the in in Institution of Incorporated Engineers and he is also a committee member of the exhibition. And we also have Mr. Shanta Senarat. Now he is a past president of the institution and he has also been a past chairman of INCO. To Inco. So thank you so much gentlemen for being with us on the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amaya. It's lovely to have both of you on the show. So this is something that's been happening for the past 12 years and as I mentioned I think people who have been a part of the industrial sector in Sri Lanka would be very familiar with this exhibition. But for those of our viewers uh, who don't know much about what this is, let's speak about, before we speak about the exhibition itself, let's speak about the institution. Now Shanta can you tell us something about the beginnings and the roots? Yeah. Uh, the institution of incorporated engineers Sri Lanka is the professional body for the incorporated engineers, Sri Lankan incorporated engineers living in Sri Lanka as well as overseas. Mm -hmm. And this institution was uh, established about uh, 37 years ago as a very small organization and later on it was incorporated by, incorporated by an act of parliament and the members who join this institution should have a basic uh, engineering diploma uh, from four institutes and uh, the present membership is about 5000 currently and we do have uh, branches as well, uh, local and overseas branches. Mm -hmm. We have a, a branch in Sri Lanka in the central province known as the Institution of Incorporated Engineers Central Province branch and we, we have two other branches in overseas that is uh, one in, in one is in Dubai and the other one is in Oman. I see. Yes. So everyone who is a part of the institution, I mean, and most of, especially those who are organizing INCO 2014 have got together now. This is the 12th consecutive year that you're having the exhibition. So let's speak about the purpose of INCO and what it has to offer to people who are part of the industry. Yes, INCO was started exactly about uh, 12 years back uh, with the syllabus celebrations of our institution and at that time we observed that there are so many other exhibitions taking place in Sri Lanka and uh, most of these exhibitions, most of these exhibitions, uh, the participants are uh, people from uh, from our own people, I mean the, insta the organizations run by our own engineers sometimes we found and they were not very happy with the most of those exhibitions though they were participating and they said it's uh, the most of the exhibitions were not very well focused. Mm -hmm. Then they wanted us to organize uh, an exhibition of our own so that uh, it would uh, benefit uh, them mostly the industrialists. Therefore, uh, on considering that request, we uh, started this exhibition uh, with our celebra with the syllogibly celebrations of our institution and uh, we opened it, um, we named it as an industrial exhibition, INCO industrial exhibition mm -hmm. and it is mainly for the local industrialists and the purpose of the exhibition is to promote the local industry because that was a time that the local industries were going down like, mm -hmm. and therefore we wanted to give them some kind of a boost uh, by way of uh, providing them a common, a common platform. Uh, at a, at a popular place like the BMIC mm -hmm. so that uh, they all can come and participate in the exhibition and uh, all the small and uh, medium and uh, some few large industries are also participating and they have been participating over the years and we find that uh, they are, most of them are very happy and uh, they are very satisfied after we started this exhibition this is the 12th year and we hope uh, that uh, for to tell you Amaya that uh, we have some uh, exhibitors who have been 
participating over and over the last 12 years. So they were also oh, participating okay. in the very first exhibition, they are still participating in this exhibition. So that clearly shows that they are very mm -hmm. happy with the very, very satisfied with this mm -hmm. exhibition. And when we speak about the industries that are sort of targeted by the exhibition, are there any particular ones that are sort of uh, given prominence uh, in the in the exhibition? Um, and uh, the sort of sectors that you target? The sectors are the, you know, all the disciplines in engineering, they come and participate, like okay. in electrical, mechanical, civil, marine, mm -hmm. chemical, and uh, industrial, of course, they are participating. And also, uh, we are giving them, a, uh, uh, even for the service sector, we are giving, uh, given an opportunity for them to participate. Therefore, we find okay. um, uh, the uh, medium, small, medium, and large uh, uh, industrialists participating in this exhibition showcasing their products and services. Mm -hmm. So this is since this is happening once a year they look forward to this to participate in this exhibition every year and, and because it is happening at one place they find it uh, oh, really beneficial to all of them because if they try to uh, uh, give some publicity for their products and their uh, brand names and their companies uh, mm -hmm. by way of uh, doing advertising on their own, it will be a huge expenditure for them. Mm -hmm. But since this uh, exhibition, at this exhibition they all come and participate, then uh, they, we are, since we are giving a lot of publicity for this exhibition through media and this time I am very happy to say that MTV is our media uh, partner, uh, electronic media partner and uh, likewise, you know, every year we select a media partner and this time it is serious and uh, we are giving huge expanded, publicity course, for yeah, this exhibition through initiative. media and also through print media. Mm -hmm. uh, Lake House is the print media sponsor this mm -hmm. year. Oh, so then it's been something that's been expanding and there are so many benefits that any participant and anyone who comes for the exhibition can gain. But if I could ask you, Chakatma, what is the main focus of INCO? What is the primary purpose? Well, Amaya, as uh, Shanta said, uh, the main focus of INCO is to provide the platform mm -hmm. for the, uh, to, to showcase the products and services of the small and medium scale industrial sector. Mm -hmm. Now, what it means is that uh, you know you bring the the buyer and the seller uh, under one roof and uh, inco is known to be a, a, a customer focused exhibition okay and um, the 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 the, uh, the main focus is to bring the the potential customer to the stall holder now stall holder is there with us mm -hmm. at the exhibition now they are looking for their the potential customer to come along so we make every effort to make that happen. Of course, and it's been happening for the past uh, 11 years, so and sure. I'm sure the 12th year will also be a great success, but when we speak about the evolution uh, that you've seen of INCO itself during the past 12 years, now how many stalls, may stalls maybe did you start out with, and what is it now today? Yeah, at, at the beginning it was, we started with a meager 100 stalls, and, now we, are that yes. meager, yes. <laughs> and now we have grown up to uh, well over to 150, and it is nearing 300, wow. so nearing okay. 300, so that shows the Pro progress mm -hmm. of this exhibition and also Amaya I want to tell you one thing uh, I want to add something to what uh, Jagat told uh, we call this exhibition the most customer focused industrial exhibition in the country why do we say that we say it with some reason because <coughs> when you when an event like this is organized there are three parties involved mm -hmm. uh, the organizers are the like us the organizers, then the participants, mm -hmm. the stall holders, then the visitors who come and visit this exhibition. So to make an event of this nature successful, we have to satisfy all these three parties. If one party is satisfied, it is not a successful exhibition. Mm -hmm. So now we find that all three parties are equally satisfied. That we have, we are not saying, we are not just saying that because with proof we are saying that because uh, after each exhibition we conduct a survey okay. and with for the visitors one uh, survey and for the participants one survey. So the from these surveys we have found out that uh, they are very satisfied, they are very happy with this exhibition because they get their target groups coming to this exhibition and the visitors even they have expressed their satisfaction mm -hmm. about the exhibition. So that is why we call it the most customer focused exhibition because uh, visitors and the participants are our customers. So they, these two categories are satisfied that means we are also happy and we are satisfied.
definitely. So something uh, that you must not miss if you are part of the industry happening on the 27th, the 28th, as well as the 29th of June at the BMICH. And it's INCO 2014. We're going for a very short break, but we'll be back with more details on Good Morning Sri Lanka.